Hi guys and welcome back. I've had a number of requests for this video, so sorry it's been a little bit delayed, but hopefully it will be worth the wait. For those of you who are studying OCR, A-level economics, I trust that this will be of help. So ladies and gentlemen, on the whiteboard behind me, I have uh, the spreadsheet I've been using for a number of years where I have tracked the questions which have been answered which have been asked on papers one two and three since the beginning of the current specification and my students and i over the last few weeks we've been thinking about what has gone before what questions have been asked before and therefore what is likely potentially maybe more likely than not to be asked on the next sitting which of course will be in less than two weeks now for some of you. Um, the micro paper will be done and dusted and all the very best with your exams, ladies and gents. So these are my predictions for June 2024. This is by no means, um, I have no insight here, of course. And so this is just an educated guess as I keep stressing on all of these videos, but maybe some of these will land Certainly when I was having a look at my June 23 predictions just the other day with my students, we were thinking, oh yeah, we got that, we got that, we got that. So um, it didn't do too badly. So you need to revise everything, obviously, but perhaps these are areas that you might want to focus a little bit more time and effort on. So let's start with the micro. I'll share this spreadsheet in uh, the comments below. I'll put a link and uh, you can Obviously, follow the spreadsheet as we talk through them. It's probably easier for you to see it uh, if you have the downloaded Excel document in front of you. So this is for June 2024, potential micro areas for assessment. And I've split this up into things which are very regularly assessed, things which are maybe not quite often assessed, but maybe there hasn't been any essay questions recently, and then just AN other sections which haven't been assessed at all really in uh, in recent sittings so things that are very regularly assessed as in more often than not and also just things that you would expect well if you're doing an economics paper you just need to know these very basic concepts so section 1.3 opportunity cost demand consumer and producer surplus the interaction of markets and interestingly ladies and gentlemen labor market theory it just comes up time and time again and I'm sure you and your teachers will probably be thinking, well, that's probably because it's difficult. Students find it difficult and it's a great discriminator um, in terms of candidates who can really handle that very well and those who can't. So that does tend to appear year after year after year. Let me move the spreadsheet document down just slightly and we can have a look at the next section. So as I say, this next section I've referred to as often assessed, but few explain or essay questions. So in the often assessed, but few essay questions, we'd be thinking about 1.1, the economic problem, evaluate the problem of scarcity and the requirement to make choices. Now these statements are just lifted, as you know, straight out of the specification. And in some exam settings, it is as simple as that. It is simply that straight left copy and paste and there it appears in your exam paper. In other instances, it's obviously a little bit more nuanced and applied to the case study in question. The second one, evaluate the different objectives of the economic agents in an economy. So it'll be 1.1. 1.2, the allocation of resources. Evaluate the effectiveness of incentives on the behavior of economic agents and resource allocation. Evaluate the allocation of resources in different economic systems. I'll not go through all of those, you can read them for yourselves. Suffice to say, 2.3, with regards to subsidies, there hasn't really been any questions asking candidates to ex simply explain, not evaluate, but simply explain. So those are the often assessed, but few explain or essay questions. And I'll leave you to peruse the other sections yourselves. In the other areas let's say of the specification so these are when we went through my students and i and we tracked what had been asked and that then left us with a few blanks obviously on the spec 
So this is what it came down to. So these areas are potentially areas that are more likely than not to be assessed on this occasion. So section 2.1, specialization and trade. Section 2.6 on elasticity. Might be easier for me to just stand here and move these up. 2.9 on information failure. 2.11, government intervention. 3.33, revenue and profit. Uh, the interesting thing here is in terms of market structures, so perfect competition, monopolistic competition and contestable markets. Those are three areas that have not really appeared much in recent sitting. So I would certainly really go to town on those particular aspects of market structures. You'll need to do them all obviously for component three, should you get a multiple choice question or broader question based on a case study. But certainly for the micro paper, that's uh, a few a few things you might want to spend a little bit extra time on. With regard to the macro paper, there's a lot to say about the macro paper, more so I think than the micro. So areas which are very regularly assessed, and few and far between here really, in recent times, so fiscal and monetary policy, um, where, I, where I have emboldened certain things, uh, that implies that it's more likely than not that you might get an essay on this particular evaluate statement. Um, so anything which has been emboldened means, you know, pay a little bit more attention. Anything which is in red here on the, ma the macro section, you know, that is indicative of the fact that it's already been assessed and there are a few of those throughout here. So I'll not, again, I'll not, um, I'll, I'll not bore you by talking through each of these. Uh, let me just scroll it down. You can see the various topic areas, AD, AS, interaction of AD and AS. I think more importantly, <coughs> excuse me, from your point of view would be to look at the potential essay questions particularly. So where it's been emboldened, as I said, perhaps more likely than not, you might get an essay on that section. And if it's the case, that there's more than one evaluate statement within the specification for that particular section, um, I'll have left it off this list because it's already been asked in the recent sittings. So therefore you want to focus your study and your revision on these particular emboldened statements. It's growth, development, all of these. So as I say, I'm not going to talk through each of these because um, you can have a look at that at your leisure. I suppose the most important thing to say would be with regard to the financial sector. So the, the exam board for years now has really shied away from giving you any big questions on the financial sector. So money and interest rates, the financial sector or financial regulation at some point, and maybe this is the year for it, but at some point, there's got to be some uh, real meaty questions on that. So particular emphasis, maybe, ladies and gentlemen, on uh, money and uh, interest rates, financial regulation, and the financial sector in general. So those are the areas, ladies and gentlemen. You can have a look at those at your leisure. Um, we'll see how this goes, of course. And I think another thing to mention on this would be that when you've done your mi micro paper and your macro paper, ideally, what you need to try to do then is, in the time between paper two and paper three, go through your micro paper, identify, if you can, and if you can remember, I know it's difficult sometimes, but if you can remember what topics have been assessed on micro paper, score them off your spec, do the same for paper two, and then what's left then obviously that's more likely than not to be what's coming on paper three because in essence, the exam board, they want to be covering all of the spec across the three papers as best they can. Um, so that's something that you need to bear in mind. I will try to do that myself for you when you have done papers one and two. But for now, obviously, I hope your revision's going well and look forward to bringing you hopefully the third video in a couple of weeks time when you've all absolutely smashed the component one and component two paper. All the very best and bye for now.